I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a currency word problem for the DAP. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the author of the DAP Destroyer book and the Orgo Man product creator. I want to go over a problem with you today. Actually, it's going to be Professor Blois is going to go over a problem with you involving currency. This is a very important DAT type of calculation. All right, Professor, I'll leave this to you. Okay, Professor Blois here. Let's read this problem together. A museum charges $7 general admission and $3.50 for members. On Friday, the museum took in $770 and sold 130 tickets. How many members' tickets were sold? Okay, we're going to do this by the technique of simultaneous equations. So, how about we assign the value A for the general admission, and for members, let's how about the letter M? Okay, so we know that the, the number of uh, uh, regular admissions plus the number of members' uh, tickets that were sold is 130. The total number of tickets is 130. All right, now let's address the value of those sales. Well, for every adult ticket or for every general admission ticket, that was $7, 7A. For every member's ticket that was sold, that's $3.50. And the total amount of money that was taken in is $770. You may notice a strong similarity between this and the coin problems. I urge you to review the coin problems and take note of that similarity. We have two unknowns and two independent equations, so we're just going about solving them. I see the second equation has a fraction in it. Let's multiply it by two so we can get rid of the fractions. Two times seven is 14. 2 times 3.5 is 7, and 2 times 770 is who the heck knows. Here's a little hint for you. Sometimes it pays not to go through the brain uh, trouble of multiplying everything out. Leave it the way it is. It may simplify later and save you the trouble in the first place. Okay, now look at this. I look at this equation, the second equation, I notice that I can divide everything by 7. You know, you have to be very opportunistic when solving these problems. 7 into 14 goes 2, 7 into 7 goes 1, 7 into 770 is 110, or that would be 220. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a, a, a one equation and two equations. All we have to do is solve. And how shall we do that? Well, we can do it by the method of substitution. I know from this equation that A is equal to 130 minus M. So we substitute that value for A here. 130 minus M plus M is equal to 220. Multiply this out, distributive law. Uh, we have 260 minus 2M plus M equals 220. You can see what's going to happen here. Negative 2m plus m is negative m. And don't panic because if I subtract 260 from both sides, I'm going to get a negative on the other side. That's going to give me negative 40, right? 220 minus 260 is negative 40. Negative m is equal to negative 40. Therefore, m is equal to 40. How many members tickets were sold? 40. That's the problem. So there we are. I hope you enjoyed how Professor Blois crushed this math problem. I got to say one thing. When I was in college, I actually saw Professor Blois. Um, some kid, I doubt you even remember, Mark Perosi. Um, There was a guy named Mark Perosi. He actually brought, and this is a true story, he actually brought a DAT exam to Professor Blois. And to this day, I'll never forget, Professor Blois sat down with that math exam and he literally ripped the ass off of 40 questions in around 11 minutes. And when I say 11 minutes, it could have been maybe 7 minutes, but I'll be modest. In 11 minutes, every problem was done where there was a trick to every single one of these problems. So he'll be unleashing all these little tricks and all the problems in the math destroyer, you can rest assured, was if it wasn't me who created those problems, it was Professor Blois. And you'll see all these little tricks and all these solutions. All right, good day to you guys. And if you get a chance, say hello to Professor Blois on our study group on Facebook. Good day to you.